Good morning. Good morning from Singapore. We are standing in front of a very famous landmark here, the Raffles Hotel. Probably one of the most famous. And it is a luxury hotel. It was created by two Armenian brothers and they made two other famous hotels in Southeast Asia, uh, the Strand Hotel in Yangon and the E&O, which is in Penang, Malaysia. But this is one of them, this is the Raffles. And this is famous for the Singapore Sling. This is where the Singapore Sling was invented. So you can go in there and enjoy a Singapore Sling at the bar. I'm not staying here obviously I think it's about a couple thousand bucks a night so um, but a beautiful hotel still in Christmas mode obviously hey Don Marie hey Jan how's it going so we're gonna walk through central Singapore uh, I wanted to start here because this is probably a good place to start the most famous probably the most famous place in the country So you can go in for drinks uh, in the lobby if you're not staying here, but other than that, you have to yeah you have to be staying here to to go in. So might go for a drink. I don't know. But I'll see how much the price is. It is yeah, it's a beautiful hotel. So it says here. I'm gonna read from uh, a book here. It says 1887 it started and it was a 10 room bungalow. 10 room bungalow in 1887. Hey Dean, how's it going? Hello Jennifer. Yes, high tea would be nice. Right. So, yeah, they were the Sarkis brothers from Armenia. So, anyways, yeah, it was going to actually be torn down. It says, uh, 1970s, they were going to tear it down, but in 1987, it became a national monument, and they restored it $160 million. So, yeah. Hey, Pete. Hello, Chris. Hey, everybody. So, we're going to go for a walk, Central Singapore. We're going to go this way. You can see the uh, buildings there in the distance. So this is, you know, this is a very colonial building here, old building, but we're right in the middle of a whole bunch of skyscrapers. I'll show you around me. These buildings here are quite modern. Hey, Joey, how's it going? Yes, I'm really traveling. I've left Japan, <laughs> finally. So anyways, I wanted to show you that. So this is, you know, this still has probably the feel of what the city was like before very leafy you can see um, you can see there it's kind of leafy around it I don't know what it's like behind it. I think it must have very actually I don't know if I can see anything there but uh, I don't want to go near there <laughs> I don't know I, I think if I'm let's see oh here here this gentleman will let us take a photo of him there's a Sikh guard so this is what they said take a photo of the Sikh guard and uh, yeah, maybe he'll let you do that. Hi, can I get a photo? Is that okay? I'm filming this on YouTube. Is that okay? Just of you. Oh, you look great, man. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, they told me to get a photo op of him. So, thank you very much. I pre I appreciate it. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're gonna walk. Oh, let's see, maybe we can do a little. I guess this is part of it. Um, uh, this is like a little side bar or something. Anyways, I love this leafy kind of jungle kind of feel. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the billiard room. Okay, so I read in the in the kind of the folklore of this uh, hotel that they shot a tiger here. So you can imagine, I think it was 1819 it was established. There was a t they shot a tiger. So this was in the middle of the jungle at one time. Um, and they shot a tiger here. Yeah. Hey Frankie, how's it going? They don't allow guns? Um, probably not. I'd say they're pretty, from what I heard, they're pretty strict. I don't know. I didn't really look. So anyways. Yeah, we're going to go for uh, continue the walk. But there's just one more shot of the strand uh, the the, uh, the raffles before we go uh, into the city. So 
Hi everybody. I'm having a problem with um, the the screen is dark, so I can't see. But we're going to go into an area where it's going to be a little bit shadier, and then uh, I can see your your messages. But for now, I'm just going to walk <clears throat> until uh, I can see it. Okay, we're going to go left here. Or sorry, right. Raffle City is a mall next to the hotel here. Okay, there's a path you take down here uh, through the Central Business District. I'll give you a shot. It looks like there's a park over there. That looks like the Central Business District over there, all the skyscrapers. So. Okay, we're going to walk through these arches. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to broadcast. Uh, when I overheat, then I'm going to stop. So... That might be soon or might be not soon. So Singapore is beautiful. Yeah, I think so. It really looks yes, very clean, similar to Japan. I'm I'll have a splurge one. Well, yeah, you better. <laughs> uh, you need if you ever have a few million dollars you want to burn through, come here and you can do it very easily. Guarantee you. It's another thing. So we are 80 miles from the equator. Uh, 80 miles from the equator. So you can imagine how hot it is. It is humid, super humid. And thankfully, there's no sun today. So that makes it a little bit cooler. If the sun was out, I probably wouldn't even be doing this. So don't spit. No, no. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Hi, everybody. I think I can start to see names a bit. Hey, Cheryl. Sherilyn, hello, thanks for coming in. So Singapore is very multicultural. I've only been here a day, but wow, it's amazing how multicultural it is. Uh, Chinese and Malaysian and Indian, a mix of so many different cultures. I, I see even Burmese, I notice Burmese, uh, the writing on some of the shops. And, Yeah, it is hot. <laughs> uh, it's it's probably, I think, between 25 and 30 degrees. With the humidity, I don't know. It's it's really, really hot. So I think this is where I came from. No, I didn't actually. I'm supposed to go on the other side. Okay, we're going to have to go uh, this way. Yeah, we're going to have to go this way. I wanted to take you down the other road down there. But anyways, we're going to have to take a little detour. So this here, I had a map ready, but uh, not for this. All right, let me get this one. Okay, here we go. All right. I got off track here. I was supposed to go that way, so. So this is the uh, Raffle City, yeah, the shopping mall connected to the hotel. For their mi mix, oh, is it really? Hey, Flaming Rickshaw, I haven't seen you in a while. I was gonna message you and say Happy New Year. Okay, let's go. There's so many shopping malls here. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, I have not seen the show Crazy Rich Agents, but I was told it's like this. So, I can imagine, yeah. Right. Uh, for, I'm going to have to put my glasses on, too. Sorry, I went off track. And now, I don't know where I am. I think it's this. Oh, yeah, okay. It is this way. Hello, Civic Stage Manager. All right, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can read. Too. I keep missing streams because I'm. Yeah, no worries, John. No, yeah, no worries. Okay. Um, this is the okay. This is the road here. This is the road here. I wanted to get a front shot of the 
the raffles, so I missed uh, I missed the rope. No, I'm not gonna get. I won't get lost. It's not. Uh, it's a central business district, so it's not. Uh, not in the jungle. Is it really? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't read it or anything. So. But uh, yeah, I got here a couple nights ago. And it's nice to be in the heat for sure. So. so Singapore is about the size of New York City. It's 0 0.9 times the size of New York City. And the population is about five and a half million. So a little bit smaller and a lot less people. Okay, this is St. Andrew's Cathedral here, but it's being renovated. It's a small place, yeah. So it's a country the size of New York City, yeah. Okay, this is the cathedral. Oh yeah, this is the road I wanna take you down here. Okay, St. Andrew's Cathedral. Oh, this was, okay, so it says here, it was used as an emergency hospital during World War II. Uh, it's seven hours, seven hours from Japan. Yes, country, it's a city, right, yeah. So, all right, we're going this way. So St. Andrew's is there. Oh, that's where I want to go. Damn. You know what? We're going to have to go a little bit more that way. Totally lost my bearings there. Okay, there. Yeah, we're going to go up there. There's a Supreme Court building there. And then we're going to cross over the river and we're going to get some nice views gonna open up a bit so so we're gonna see this we're gonna see st. Andrews Cathedral National Gallery of Singapore new Supreme Court and I don't know if I'm gonna make it up to the boats key but if I overheat by then then oh well so now is the hottest part of the year from what a local told me it's the monsoon season uh, until about February or March so uh, you'll get heavy rains I think in the afternoon I think in the afternoon there's a lot of heavy rain uh, there was none yesterday when I arrived so um, I might go to Malaysia after this yeah that might be my next destination probably gonna I'd, I'd, I'd like to go to Penang Penang is uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site so I wanted to do that. So. Penang is a location of the other hotel uh, that I mentioned. It's called the Eastern and the Oriental. Um, another luxury colonial hotel from the 19th century. So, hello, hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. Big sports car place. I guess they have the. Do they have the F1? down there I think they do yeah so this is the court building and then we're gonna go to the Parliament we're gonna see the Parliament and there seems to be a shopping mall like every uh, 100 meters <laughs> which is also good because you can duck in uh, if it's too hot so that helps Here's another one. I can guarantee you there's about a shopping mall every, uh, every few meters, so every few hundred meters.
or to yes right I've been to Borneo but not Peninsula Malaysia I really want to go there I've never been to Malaysia at all so all right we're gonna have to cross the road up there but please excuse this uh, this is pretty pretty plain here but I guess it just gives you a snapshot of the city I've noticed that almost every bus is a different cup Penang is great hey Ursula is it really yeah, I've heard it's uh, a really nice Georgetown is nice the uh, that's the World Heritage site Are you stopping here en route to some? No, no, this is my destination, yeah. Um, yeah, that's another thing. A lot of people have always told me, um, Singapore, a couple of days, just do it on a stopover, not much to see, but I totally disagree. I have a pretty long list of things I'd like to see. This is interesting here. This is a Burmese, I'm gonna show you the Burmese convenience store. That's not something you see everywhere. Uh, especially Burmese, so Ang Chang Mie Trading. I love that. That's just an example of how multicultural it is. So. There is a Burmese area too, uh, north of the city center. Uh, Balestie, I believe it's called Balestie. That's a Burmese area. It has a Burmese temple too. I hope to film that in the next week or so. So, yeah, it's all new uh, down here. It's. I guess there's a few of the heritage buildings mixed in. But uh, down in the central business district, yeah, it's going to be all new. So, looking forward to seeing those places. Okay, great. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm using Singtel. Singtel is the, I think, the biggest carrier, the national carrier. Uh, I got 120 gigabytes for fifty dollars. So a Singapore dollar is the same as a Canadian dollar. It's like one dollar, probably on par. But one thing about Singapore is it is expensive. Wow, like unbelievably expensive. Uh, I'm staying in a hotel that's uh, eighty-five dollars a night, and it's not—it's nothing special. <laughs> I think in in Thailand that that same hotel would cost. Probably about sixty, fifty dollars. Um, yeah, so your money doesn't go as far here. Food is crazy expensive. Everything is expensive. Cab rides, uh, you can't hide from it. So very wealthy. Yeah. So one thing that is cheap is the the street food, the hawker food. It's called the uh, like the food courts. So that's where I discovered today <laughs> that you should eat at the food courts. Um, to save money. Well, oh, this is beautiful, this mall. I'm gonna check this out later. Let's get a peek inside, maybe. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty modern. I know I can't, probably can't film it here, but I'll give you a little peek. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, let me cool off for a second, too. Hello, Australia, hey. Taiwan is cheaper, yeah. Um, I'd say it's almost like Tokyo. Almost like Tokyo. Uh, maybe even more so I'm gonna be here for I hope uh, ideally 10 days uh, but at least a week so clean and expensive makes sense yeah right so so and also now the the, the probably today uh, the Chinese wave is going to come <laughs> So the Chinese are finally allowed out of the country starting today. So it's going to be uh, madness. And I think that had a part to play. I was looking at some other hotels and they're already full. Uh, and I think it was because of the, the Chinese coming. So, and also I noticed the prices went up too. And I think that's both because of the Chinese who are coming. So. Duck tours like Boston. Beautiful country, but ex crazy expensive, yeah. 
I ate at a downstairs food court near Orchard Lane. Yes, Orchard Lane is amazing. I went there yesterday. Orchard Lane is like the shopping district. I could show you that maybe another day. Uh, amazing malls, like insane malls. It's not so much the malls are beautiful, just the number of shops in one area is crazy. That's the Parliament of Singapore. That's the Parliament right there, the Parliament buildings. Uh, and you can, that's a nice shot of the buildings behind it there. Weather is about 30 plus degrees, super humid. And I think it ranges from 25 to 30 every day. The weather doesn't really change much, the temperature wise, throughout the year from what I heard. Uh, it's the rain that does. Lots of rain here. This looks pretty luxurious. The buffet will be empty. Very muggy, yes. Very, very humid. Very humid. Okay, we're going to get a shot of the river coming up. We could walk all the way to the Marina Bay Sands, but I don't know if I can make it <laughs> if it's too hot. So right, I should have crossed the road here. All right, we're going to get to the river here in a second and uh, get you some nice shots of that. North Boat Key. All right, so this side here is Clark's Key. This is more of the, the tourist. I'm staying down here. Clark's Key is like a, a entertainment district. So you have restaurants along the river. Yeah, I'm staying over there. I'll give you, a, I'll zoom in because I'm not going to walk there. I could do that in another whole nother broadcast. So, but yeah, there is uh, Clark's Key, all the restaurants lining the river. Uh, people sit on patios and you can you know, look across the river And that's where I'm staying so that's a central that's a tourist area absolutely There Okay, now on this side is the business district. So I'm gonna cross the road Try and get a shot of that over there More like summer weather there yeah yeah and this this also stretches into the Clark's key area it's very a lot of bars uh, you know a lot of partying and that if you like it oh that's maybe where I should go that's where I should go there's a nice heritage built oh yeah you know what that's the tour goes there I'm going the the wrong way so I should go over here if I can cross here I will there we go Good. that was easy okay, I'm gonna zoom out it's a little bright here I can't see the oh yeah here's the river walk here Singapore river walk Sir Stanford Raffles re re reserved the north bank of the Singapore River for government buildings, while the south bank was designated for warehouse and other commercial developments. Well, there's a shot of it before. The old boats there. That was 1950s. And then this is it now. A little bit different now. So on the right is all the restaurants. And then on the left is the uh, government buildings there. And you can see the Marina Bay Sands in the distance there. That's where I was last night where I filmed the fire flower. So I can't read this, so uh, I apologize here. Okay, let me look at these messages. Signs are in English. Yes, everybody speaks English. Everyone speaks English. Very nice, very clean. Yeah, hey, Ariel. Uh, it's, what time is it? What time did I start? 
11, yeah, probably around 11.45, right? Now, let me see if this is where, you know what? I like this side better because it's cooler. So I'm going to walk here regardless of whether I should or not. This tour might be uh, from the other side. Yeah, this is definitely the party area here. we got pool tables and all that kind of stuff here, bars. So we're going to walk towards those buildings, yeah. Let me zoom in a bit. It's plus 30, Ariel. Yeah, it's very humid, so. Izakaya is the Japanese places here. Kerala cuisine, we've got Indian cuisine, we've got Mexican, we've got everything you want. Never been here before, my first time in Singapore. Hello. Very quiet right now. It's a Monday morning at 11, uh, almost 12, p 12 uh, p.m., so it's pretty quiet. It's starting to overheat a bit, so if I can't duck in somewhere, I might close down. Yeah, it looks like they got quite a variety over here. No vending machines. But yeah, they do. They do have vending machines, but not. Um, seen any here so. near any beaches uh, no I think there's one in Sentosa Island in the south uh, that's where you got to go for the beach but I don't know how far that is Another place I'd like to go to, so. <laughs> Hoping to make it to that shopping mall by the time I, uh, before I overheat. Did you famous chicken rice? No, I didn't. No, I'm going to do that. One of the hawker stands, I think it's the first Michelin starred uh, street food is here in Singapore. So I'm going to try and do that too. I'll definitely uh, do that sometime. So, all right, almost there. <laughs> yeah, they're all, this is all, this goes way down. There's a whole other strip of uh, restaurants like this. This looks like a heavy security building, so it doesn't look like I'm going in here. Yeah, these are all office buildings here, so looks like you know, it looks like heavy security. All right, uh, maybe there is a. Okay. This is a nice place to hang out. Virgin Active. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. Need to cool down. Okay, 
Okay, maybe I'll just step in here, cool down a second. Wow. Now that might be tight with security. Anyways, getting some nice air con blown out towards me. Hey, Jonathan, hey. Endless restaurant trip. Yes, right, right. Okay, um, I looks like, maybe I can go in there. This looks like the office side. This looks more like the customer side, so maybe I can go there. So let me cool down, and then I can, uh, yeah, recharge. So taxi start at four dollars and fifty cents here. Flag goes down, it's four fifty. And it's really expensive. I didn't go very far. It cost me about twelve dollars the other day. Uh, and I took a short ride on the tram, MRT. I just went like four or five stations. And it was seven dollars. So in Japan, same distance would be maybe half the price. So it's very expensive. Okay, I can go in here. Wow. Oh. This is a bank. I probably can't film in here, but oh well. Let me say hello. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to stand here. Wow, it's hot. Yeah, it's very expensive. Right now, I look like the biggest tourist slash YouTuber you've ever seen. Okay, sorry. Yeah, just cooling off. Yeah, he told me not to film. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> How about I just sit down and turtle? Then maybe he'll let me in. Oh, well, here we go. Let's see some Chinese New Year uh, decorations. I tell you, YouTubers just don't get any love. Okay, here, there's a mall over here. So that says good luck in Chinese. Chinese New Year coming up, uh, which means that mainland China is going to be traveling all over the world. So wherever you are, you'll probably notice more Chinese tourists. Guarantee it. Oh, this shade looks pretty damn good. I can stand here, I know that. Nobody's gonna kick me out. <laughs> hey, here we go. All right. I think there is a big live streaming culture here. I don't know about IRL, but I think th there's a huge live streaming culture, more uh, people s just talking. So, yeah. And plus, it's just so hot here. I can't imagine how uh, there could be a big uh, IRL, uh, big group of IRL streamers here. So. This is the MRT. Uh, I don't know which station this is. That's the entrance to the MRT there. It's definitely cool down there. Okay, we can go in here. Oh, that looks like a nice mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the shade. Yeah, right. This looks wow. Look at this. This is pretty fancy here. Let me. Malacca Street.
All right, maybe I'll uh, walk in front of here and call it a show. This looks nice. That looks like a nice refuge. Let's see, it looks like there's a open area in the middle there. Twitter has a Singapore office. Didn't know that. Actually, I just saw that he did, he did cuts. Shockingly, Musk is cutting more people. And one of them was from Singapore. Oh, that's a cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of cool uh, pieces there. All right, this is a coffee academics. I don't know if I want a coffee right now, but right, let me show you this piece here. People do smoke. It's a smoking area here under some really beautiful trees. And I love this piece here. This is very cool. They look like they're speed walking. Yeah, stressed out, stressed out office workers. That's what that is. Fast walking, a sign of, probably a sign of stress. Yeah, that's cool right there. Well, I lasted a lot longer than I thought I would. Um, This, this route goes all the way to the Marina Bay Sands, but it takes four hours, and I'm not going to walk four hours in the heat. So, um, it's a replica. Is it really? Oh, wow. Cool. So, yeah, it's neat. I'm not sure. What, oh, it's in, it says Chinese. Uh, luck. Uh, fuku. What else does it say? Does it say any other words? Uh, fuku. Mean, mean is people. There's some Chinese characters and the Roman characters. I don't know what it's saying. So, but you know what? I'm going to leave it there, guys. And uh, that's the first broadcast. Just getting my bearings here in Singapore. And hopefully I'll show you some more stuff. I'll definitely show you more stuff tomorrow. So I'll try and do something interesting. I'm not going to probably do it every day, but sometimes. Depends on the rain, too. So, But thanks for coming in, everybody. And I uh, hope to see you in the other broadcasts. And you guys take care and have a great week. Bye for now.